Trying to finish the play. And just looking actually at the Chicago Sky bench on a bucket like that, the energy is high on the bench side as well. They're standing up, they're cheering, they're into the game early, and it's a 12 to 3 advantage. Heber, there's some contact made. They're going to call it on Heber, which is number two on Ruthie, and an and one chance here for Neka Ogumake. Ogumake is so efficient when she gets the ball, fighting for position, squaring up. She's got to move to the counter move, so she kind of lowers her shoulder there a bit, too, to try to create that separation. <laughs> you have to fall getting the bucket. I would make sure the WNBA was taken care of with some jets. <laughs> so if anyone wants to sponsor me in that endeavor, feel free to hit me up. <laughs> Neka Ogumake taking it strong, and another and one for Neka. Ogumake doing her work. With 13 seconds left on the shot clock into the hands of Neka Ogumake, just like they drew it up. Ruthie Hebert in foul trouble with four fouls, still guarding Neka Ogumake. That is tough, and they go right to Ogumake, as L.A. should. And Ogumake, second-year player. But to your point, she's got four fouls. And Dufault also with four fouls. And Neka Ogumake absolutely ripped it away from her for an and one. Try to stop that. Off the copper miss, Ogumake stays aggressive. Chicago gets caught ball watching, doesn't come in from the opposite side. Ogumake. And Diamond tossed it away. Into the hands of Wheeler. On the push, no one's stopping her. The shovel pass there to Neka. And, we're and she's thinking score. Rebound to Sykes. Another opportunity. Ogumake gives LA the lead. 